Okay, well, hey guys. So today what I want to talk about is multitasking and memory management of your Android device. So stay seated, get some popcorn, get a drink ready because I think this is going to really help you with your memory management. Right, so I think we all know multitasking is the ability of your device to perform multiple tasks at once. Now this comes in handy when you want to say, listen to music and watch or do some surfing on the internet. Now most of us probably use Windows systems at home, but unfortunately the knowledge of your Windows system and how it manages memory has given you bad habits. And by that what I mean Android, which is essentially Linux, and Windows are completely different when it comes to their memory management systems. Now for this example I'm not going to go into what how Windows does it, I'm going to specifically target how Android does it. Right, so after Android has booted up, all its core services and apps are loaded and it tries to allocate every single bit of its memory that's left over to as many applications as it can. Now Windows doesn't do that of course. Um, so, so the major point here that I'm trying to make is that Android users, we shouldn't be trying to free up memory. It's a misconception that clicking on the task killer option of our phones is actually going to speed up a device. It's not. It's going to waste your phone's CPU cycles since the operating system of Android is going to try and reallocate that memory again for other applications. And any speed increase by doing this is just the placebo effect. What you're doing is interfering with a normal Android operating system and slowing things down. Now on the Play Store there's a huge amount of memory management tools out there and task killers. Don't download them, don't pay for them, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money obviously. Let Android do its thing. And if you see that your device only has 100 megabytes or even 50 megabytes of memory left, that's fine. You've got enough space on your memory for Android to allocate to other apps that you use. It just helps with the multitasking, it helps load up applications faster. So um, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Don't kill your apps, let Android do its job, man.